Hello people, my name is Dennis and today I'm going to show you how to make or build a purchases journal entry database using Microsoft Access. So I have some notes prepared already for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and look into what we are going to do and uh, we will go into the Microsoft Access and build this database so this is what we're going to do uh, first of all you know purchases journal is to record daily purchases to your vendors to your suppliers so it's uh, with that one with that being said to record purchases to your vendors to your vendors therefore you're gonna have this purchases account which is the purchases journal account which is to record daily purchases and also have a vendor account to store vendors or suppliers information so and these are the things you will need to record for purchases um, we have we will have the date which is you know the daily log and we will have a record number which is the ID number for the transaction and we will have vendor um, account number you have an account number which is on which account title account title are you making this payment to so it's gonna be if we have some already accounts right here which which are mostly used on purchases journal so in case you don't find the account that you want to use then you have to put in the account number right here so it's a common common one found Common account found on purchases journal. And if you don't have the account you are making the purchase to, then you need to record a new account title under your account. It may be asset, liability, or owner's equity. so this account will come from this three or maybe more account um, account so if you don't find it here the account number this is what this account number is for and the debit credit if you if the account number is is put right here then you have to fill this up if you don't find it here and you have to give the vendors name you are making the purchases from so from there you will need a vendors account to store vendors or suppliers information and that leads to the next question what to store this is like building your own system so it's very critical to just store what you need not what you need not a whole lot of information also in this case to record on um, this vendor's information I will 
maybe record the first day uh, of encounter and the name of the f vendor product services render and maybe telephone number and hours of operation to help me get things I need at the right time. In this case, if I want to call him on business phone and it's 7 o'clock, I can't. Therefore, I'll call the next day. That's why I need the hour of operation down to know what time he operates. I might be calling for suppliers, supplies, products, services, and I might be calling for that. So, with that being said, let's go to their um, the database management to to um, build this database first as you can see I've already named it and I'm gonna hit create and so first which one are we going to build let's build this customer database first so one and this will be the second part so we're gonna need dates dates Let's name this first. Let's call this suppliers. And let's leave the ID just like that. Our vendor, let's bring vendor ID. And let's name here vendor name. No date. Okay, vendor name and what else? Product services, services render and Finally, let's just collect the telephone right now and leave the rest. Number, let's format this date. Um, this will be Let's go to the input max. Let's go to the input max. It's gonna add yes. And it is the first one, so I'll click finish and I'm done. Go to data sheet view. Yes, I want to save this and I'm done programming this one. And this is good for input right now. Today's date Velasco Design Studio.
keep in sales tax services accounting services um, administration administration services ETC and seven to zero blah 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 save this for now and close now let's create a table for the purchases do not entry so table design Let's name this purchases. You know. Now let's create the purchases journal entry table. Let's name this purchases journal. Oops. And save. And this one we're gonna make this short P J. ID PJ PJ and we gonna what are the things that we need what to store what to store record so we gonna need the date and over here people use refer you can use a record ID or a refer ID a reference ID is the same it's just a tracking number and that is it right here so this one is taken care of This one is taken care of already. We have it. We're gonna bring the date next. And what next? Account title. Account title. And we're gonna debit credit amateur dice inventory debit store suppliers debit. Merchandise inventory have it let me take this off and store supplies have it and account payable credit Vendor it's gonna be a lookup wizard value 
I want the lookup field to get the values from another table or query. Yes, this is what we need, and we need it from the suppliers account. Yes, both, and we just need the vendor name. Look up how I spell vendor. Okay, and the name next you leave that for now. Then we need the vendor name here and finish. Yes, here is a currency. Here is a currency. This is a currency. And this is a currency. This is a currency. So you're gonna need a lookup value here for the account title. And let's save this for now. And close. Let's go to table. Create. I'm gonna name this account. Chart of account. 